Jobs Oxford Channel presents an introduction to the 10 oldest colleges of Oxford University. Welcome to Rob's Oxford and this presentation on the older colleges of Oxford. Colleges, what are they for? In Oxford, colleges are where the students eat and sleep and play and pray and have their tutorials. The university is where they go to for their lectures and also to take exams. There are no halls mentioned in this particular presentation. There are different kettle of fish and there are no women mentioned and that's not surprising. These colleges are very old. They were for men only right up until about 50 years ago. Change over time. Well, obviously they have changed enormously. They have got bigger, they have been rebuilt and so on, inevitably. Town and city. You will hear me mention town a lot in this presentation. Oxford was a town for much of its life. It wasn't until 1542 that it became a city for the first time. Uh, the colleges are covered very briefly. Uh, we whip through them quite quickly. Uh, don't worry, if you want to get more details of some of the colleges, then go to some of my other videos where we look at them in much more detail. And don't forget to subscribe below. With that, here we go. Because the colleges are old, or pre-1500, it's sensible to use an old map. So, what better than Peter Speed's map of 1605? As you look at it, first thing to note is that Oxford was a walled town. Two of the colleges still have part of the old town walls within them. Second thing is that Magdalen is shown on the left hand side. It should be on the right. Ah, the map is upside down. I can soon fix that. Hmm, but then we can't read it. So let's do it the old way, south at the top. Let's take a closer look. For fear of losing anyone on this trip around medieval Oxford, I'm going to lay down a black dot, a marker which represents the location of the Radcliffe camera nowadays. We start with the oldest of Oxford's 39 colleges, University College. This is where it was founded back in 1249 and it's still there. Here's a glimpse of the college from the air. You can actually see the red buses going along the high street in front of it. Here's the frontage today. Many students have become famous after attending University College. Here's two. Bill Clinton, the politician, and Stephen Hawking, the famous scientist. Next in time is Balliol College, actually outside of the old city walls as you can see. Let's take a look from the air. It's a big one. And here's the frontage. Two famous men studied here. One of them is Boris Johnson, the current Prime Minister, and the other is Graham Greene, the writer. What's next? We've got Merton College, founded in 1264. On the map you can see it sits right on the southern edge of central Oxford. Looking over, as you can see in the aerial photograph, the Christchurch Meadows and out to the River Thames. Oh, look at this tower. That's the tower of the chapel. And we're looking into the two main quads of Merton here. Tolkien was a fellow at this college and Andrew Wiles, the famous mathematician, was a student here. Okay, moving quickly on, we've got Exeter, founded in 1314, and as you can see, on the other side of the city. Uh, looking down on it from the air, we get a, quite a good glance at its chapel there. It actually faces two streets, so here's a frontage in Turl Street, and then the other one in Broad Street. Tolkien was a student here. Also Philip Pullman, a writer in the same vein. Oriel College was founded back in 1326. It's set quite far back from the high street as you can see on the map. 
when you look at it from the air you see a large quad that's the main quad and that quad is pretty much in the position of the original college a newer frontage actually faces the high street and this you can see that was paid for by a rather well-known ex-student called Cecil Rhodes. Another student from way back in time is the Elizabethan Sir Walter Raleigh. Right, oh, whoops, I've got the map upside down. Or have I? Let's put it right. The next college is just down the high street and it's called the Queen's College. It was founded back in 1341 and then much altered in the 17th century when it was rebuilt along classical lines. Um, you can see from the frontage that it's classical and two of the famous people from here, uh, one is Tim Berners-Lee, said to be the inventor of the web, and the other is Mr Bean, who's said to be Rowan Atkinson. And so the seventh oldest of Oxford's colleges, New College. Actually New College isn't new, but it was back in 1379. As we zoom in, we get a very good picture of its very tall chapel and dining hall. And then when we look inside that quad, we see the quad that proved to be the model for most of the quads that followed in Oxford. Two rather famous people from here, Hugh Grant, the actor, and John Foles, the wonderful writer. Here we can see the location of Exeter's neighbour, that's Lincoln College, founded back in 1427. We're actually viewing it from a tower, the University Church Tower, and we can see another church. That church is All Saints and it is now part of Lincoln College. In fact, it's its library. And we can now see the beautiful main quad with its lovely lawn and its creeper encrusted walls. People who have been students here and done well, Rishi Sunak is the Covid Chancellor and John le Carre the famous spy author. Now for a rather special college. Uh, this one is called All Souls and it began in 1438. It's located right next to the University Church actually and you can see from the aerial photograph that it runs alongside Radcliffe Square. This photo was taken from Radcliffe Square and it features in the foreground the chapel of the college and a little more distantly the library. No students from this college as such but two very famous fellows. One is Christopher Wren, the famous architect, and the other is T.E. Lawrence, as in Lawrence of Arabia. The final college in this video, and to my mind, the most beautiful, is Magdalen. It began in the year 1458, and as you can see on the map, it was outside of the city wall, alongside the River Charwell. Taking a look from the air, then you can see there's a lot of greenery around it. It owns a lot of land. In fact, we're approaching over the Botanic Gardens, which Magdalen owns. Let's have a look at the frontage on the High Street. And there you see it's a wonderful and memorable tower. And then we're going to have another look inside because I really wanted to share with you the very beautiful cloister and beyond it, what is usually called the new building. Famous people from here, well I've just selected two. One of them is Oscar Wilde, famous playwright of course, and the other one is Andrew Lloyd Webber, the composer. Okay, there you have it. The ten oldest colleges of Oxford. Aren't they beautiful? And there's a test at the end of this. Which is the oldest college in Oxford? If you can't answer, then you must watch the whole video again. If you've not subscribed, please do so below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and bye bye.